So a few weeks ago, I got this comment on one of my videos. Oh, no, not that one. Although I hope that I fixed that issue. Uh, this comment about uh, writing a script where you get the input from the command line, uh, which is something I normally do on my scripts, but in the tutorial that wasn't the focus of it, so I just had a readme command, or not readme command, a read command run. Well, today we're going to look at how I do it, and I don't just grab what is passed uh, from the command line, the arguments in the shell. I actually do a few checks on different things. Uh, so we're going to do an example today where we're going to give a script a URL, and it's going to download the video using YouTube DL, but it's going to check for the input in different ways. You'll see what I mean. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm aware that some of my videos have really bad audio, and there's uh, three reasons mainly for that. One, my entire house has tile floors, which I think causes some echoiness. That's a small part of it. I think it does affect it. I don't think it's the worst part. Uh, the other part is sometimes my pulse audio input settings get changed. I, I don't know why this happens. I don't do it. And sometimes I'm in a hurry to get my videos recorded because I have limited time to get them done. And I don't have time to check. And it isn't until after I've recorded the videos that I realize uh, that the volume levels on my mic have been changed. Uh, but there's another factor. And that is um, my microphone positioning. Uh, I had this old style mic stand uh, that was next to my desk, but it was always in the way, so I kind of shoved behind my desk. And uh, when I set it up, if I set it up in the proper position for me talking, it blocks the screen. It makes it hard for me to see what I'm typing. So sometimes I would have it behind the monitor or under the monitor or near the keyboard just sitting on the desk, and it wasn't a good positioning. So the other day I ordered one of these mic stands that well, they ratchet down to your desk. I just bought the cheapest one. It was $12. It's actually been on my Amazon wish list for over a year, for a year or two now. Kept hoping someone would get me it for Christmas. Nice cheap gift. Um, but no one ever did. So I finally bought one myself. And when it came in, there was a little bit of an issue. Due to the lip all the way around my desk, the clamp would not clamp properly. It wouldn't hold at all. Now, I'm not a fancy man. I already have random pieces of wood that I've screwed into my desk for holding headphones. So, my first thought was to just screw another piece of wood on there, but this one would have to be secure because the mic's going to be moving and I don't want to pull that piece of wood out of the desk. But then I was looking at uh, the mic stand a little bit more. Here's the clamp again. So it clamps on the desk and then the mic stand just slides into this hole right here. So I figure if I'm going to drill holes in my desk anyway, I might as well just drill a hole that size. So I drilled a hole right in the desk and slid the mic stand right in there. So now I have no excuse because my mic is right here. I can put it right in front of me in positions that doesn't block the screen and when I'm done it just slides right back like that out of the way. So hopefully uh, as long as I remember to check my mic levels in Pulse Audio the audio on my videos will be better than they have been in the last couple videos I did. So I apologize about that uh, and uh, yeah so I've been wanting to do this for a while and hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching and I hope you continue to watch my videos that now will hopefully have better audio.